Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos.
done. I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. I've got to get rid of it. I'm covered in blood. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Out of order. Uh, sir, are you all right? You're as white as a sheet. I'll, I'll be all right. I, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. A large snowy cold front coming down from Canada is bringing temperatures far below normal seasonal averages. New snow is expected to fall throughout the day tomorrow, all along the east coast. Here's a temperature map for your... Sir? The waitress. She noticed something. I'm done for. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. I... Excuse me. The bill for the meal. How could I forget that? Quick, before somebody finds the body. You got a problem, pal? You want to take a picture? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. this neighborhood before the police get here.
Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc's dining. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. You never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's Coffee is the best in the East End. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston, a regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Is the body still there? The boys from the morgue were waiting for you to get here before moving it. Nobody's been in the toilet since we found the body. Were there other customers in the restaurant at the time? Yeah, two other guys. I let them go home. I wrote down their names and numbers in case you wanted to question them. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go ahead. Have you been working here long, Kate? Uh, it'll be 11 years next month. I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. John, he was such a nice guy. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. 
Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. What happened before the murder? Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my God. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have fallen. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bill. What happened next? The man came back, he paid his bill and left. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized... Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. Here, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. of blood. This is where I killed him. Several wounds on the left side of the chest and the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. thinking what I'm thinking? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. A table knife covered in blood. Obviously. 
obviously the real one. The killer used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry. I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was gonna keep us up a little longer. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Eh, uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. And she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> for that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. <laughs> 